Hello, welcome to today's English class. The topic of discussion today is tenses. What is a tense? Or what can we um, see as tenses? You know, every day we talk, we speak, we communicate. Many of our statements are actually founded on tenses. Because whatever we say is either is reflecting what's going to happen or what is happening or what has already happened. So in other words, from the definition here, we could see that tenses can be described as a division in grammar that expresses time with reference to the moment of speaking. And also tenses are usually manifested by the use of specific forms of verb particularly in the manner in which they occur. We could see that now tenses deals with some verbs which we use pertaining to time. Like, I am eating. That should show you that there is a present continuous statement. Eating, I am. That means I am eating right now. So it's a present continuous tense. And then, um, that is, they show the time of action when it's performed, whether it's a complete action or it's ongoing. We we'll have various examples of tenses. We we'll have the present tense. We we'll have the past tense. We we'll have the present perfect tense. We we'll have the present continuous tense. We we'll have the past continuous tense. We we'll have the past perfect tense. We also have the future tense. Now, in this table here, with the examples, I give a definite example which would help in analyzing the table. So we can see on the first is the present tense, which is we do it. Now, this is something that is Happen, that happened now, like we eat. While well, the second one is present continuous sense. We are doing it. It's something that's happening. It hasn't ended. We are eating. We are praying. Then the past tense reflects on something that's happened backwards. Then the present perfect tense. We have done it. We have eaten. That's present perfect tense. Then past tense. We did it. We ate. We can say that the action already happened. It has happened. And we are now responding to a question. We ate. Then the next one is past perfect tense. We had done it. It is a complete action that has happened in the past. Very complete. Which is significant with using the word had. So we had eaten. Maybe we could say we had eaten before you came in. That is the perfect tense. Perfect past tense, sorry to say. Then the past continuous tense can be we were doing it. We were eating. Then the rain started. Then the futuristic tense that are, are, are those things that will come later. Not something that is happening now or something that has happened, but the things that will come in the future. Like they will do it. Or we shall do it. We can see. We shall eat later. We shall take our breakfast at noon. We can see that now they are converting their breakfast later to be taken later. So there is something important to note here that the most important tenses, that is the most frequently used tenses, what we use more often 
in our daily lives are the present tense, the past tense, and the past perfect tense. Those are the, the will I call it the essential tenses. So we're going to be explaining them briefly. The first one is the present tense. This is used to show what we do every day as habits. It can be used for a proverb or a general statement. Now, when we talk normally as at what is happening or what's happened, now we're talking about the present situation of anything in our statement. The sun rises in the east. Yes. Now we're making a direct statement, a speech. The sun rises in the east. They go to church every Sunday. Now we're not talking about something that have happened or something that will happen or something that is happening. Do you understand? So they go to church every Sunday is placing the fact that every Sunday will have to be in church. She watches the program every Saturday. Every Saturday, I'm watching this particular program. So you see that exactly or on Saturday, you will find me watching that program. On Sunday, you find me going to church. So we'll go to the next one, the past tense. As I will explain earlier, the past tense are actions that happened in the past. Whether it's a minute ago, a year ago, an hour ago, a month ago, a, just something that's happened. Then you're reporting the speech. Like he came back a minute ago. Yes. Once it has passed one second, it's already in the past. Even if I say it came back 30 seconds ago, it has passed. I went to school yesterday. You are not going to school now, but you're telling whoever you're telling that you went to school yesterday. We drank tea this morning. We didn't drink coffee. We drank tea this morning. It was in the morning that we drank tea. So we're going to go to the next, which is past perfect tense. There is a unique structure about this past perfect tense because it doesn't just explain itself. It has different category in which past perfect tense can be implemented. The first one is, it is used to show that two actions took place in the past and one was completed before the other. The old woman had died before the doctor arrived. You see, the two of them happened in the past. But what makes it perfect was because of the complete statement, she had died. She was not dying when the doctor arrived. She was already dead. And then the doctor arrived. So you can see it's a very, very complete past statement. I went to bed before dad came back from work. That's, you've already slept before dad came back. The next one. It is also used to show condition which is impossible because it refers to the past time when an event did not take place. Now, it talks about an event that is supposed to have taken place but it did not take place. So you're kind of thinking back. If, I, if it had rained, we would not have come. So... Is telling someone that if the rain actually fell, you wouldn't have seen me. So the rain now would have been an hindrance or a hindrance to my coming. 
but he or she came because what the rain did not fall so now if it had rained it would have been is a past statement even though it did not rain so the next one you could see that it is used to express an indirect speech when introductory verb is in the past and indirect speech peter said he had done it now you're reporting what peter said so peter said he had done it she said she had finished her exams you see it's someone that is reporting what someone else is have completed the actions have been completed it is also used to express a wish that relates to an event in the past which is not materialized an event in the past that didn't happen again and a wish what's a wish a wish is something you think should have happened or something you want it to happen now I wish I had won the game maybe they lost or she lost or he lost a match and now after the match the person is lamenting I wish I had won the game now the next one it is also used to express an action which occurred further back in time now the teacher realized that the mistake had been from the onset you see there was a situation which started before unknown to the teacher but until the thing became obvious now maybe the teacher wants to punish the students and now she's actually questioning them then she realized that the issue that happened in her class didn't start there it started maybe since the beginning of the time that's like bringing back the event creating the event from the onset the beginning and so there's a special thing to note about this past perfect tense the past perfect tense is formed by adding the word had to the past participle of the verb in a sentence construction so once you see that unique word had we can see that it's a complete perfected past tense had I had my tea this morning before coming to work complete perfect past tense now the table shows us different examples of some words in their present tense their past tense form and also their past perfect tense after which we'll see the exercises which will help us and improve us in our knowledge in which we've learned from tenses thank you